so in this lecture we are learn about the test and the test run time test and run time space and time complexity so we are what we are learning in training time what is the time requirement in training and what is the time and space requirement in runtime okay in to train a logistic regression model what is the time requirement so to know about it first we have to learn it what is need to do in logistic migration the simple in logistic migrations to train a model so because we why we are training the logistic migration model because we are wanting just find the optimal w that is we call the w star okay so w star means what w star means arc mean of of our all w what that is our logistic loss plus what plus our regularization all right this is the simple equations of our logistic equations if we, we are talking about in grammatically if just we are writing it in grammatically we are simply find our logistic logs plus regularizations and meaning optimize these two terms then we are find our optimal w that is called our based w another language it is our based w so till now we are not learning how to find this w okay just we are learning what is the equations but this how to find this w we are learning this concept in the next chapter when are we are talk we are learning our optimization problem so this is we are learning how to how to find this w star it is learning in our next chapter so this concept using the how to find this w star this concept is another language we call it a gradient stochastic gradient descent just don't don't uh, worry about it we are learning this stochastic gradient distance or what it or what it is and how to find this in next chapter so the main thing is uh, just uh, to train a logistic regression model we need to take near about near about end d near about end in end time okay so now the main thing is what is n and what is it just we simply learn n is the number of data points in training data that is number of points in our training data okay and d is what and d is our number dimensions of our data set these are the dimensions and uh, n is the number of so to train a model uh, approximately we are need to n d time okay so so what is when we find our w star what is w star w star is nothing it is simply a d dimension vector we are already learned about it that is w1 w2 w3 up to wd it's simply a d dimensional vector okay so if it is a d dimensional vector and w over is responsible for what features one w2 is what it is responsible for features two simply w3 is what is it responsible for features three and it is responsible for our features t simply these things are already we are learning about and uh, in run time what we will do let's change the color in run time what we will do this is our training process if we want to train a model stream model after training we find this optimal w and after finding the optimal w we are now we are going to run this model okay uh, runtime complexity of our logistic regression model. 
so to understand this concept first we need to after finding the w when we are putting a query point that's that is called our x cube what we are doing just simply multiply our optimal weight vector that is w star okay to multiply it simple if this multiplication is greater than zero then we call this point as a positive point and if this multiplication is less than zero then we call this point as a negative point simply we will learn about this concept in previous lectures okay nothing else and we just put a query point and simply multiply with our optimal w to just multiply it and find this multiplication result okay now to multiply this weight vector w and how the time is required now this is the main concept so to multiply this means what this means is simply we are multiplying d dimension thing w i is what d dimension that is w i into x q x q j simply here we are taking w j j is equals to 1 to d okay nothing this is the multiplication so here we are need to multiply what we need to multiply a d make d quantities and also multiply d minus one quantity so here we need to you know, what so first what do we are on to first we are talking about the space complexity i think it will be better for you. space complex so what will be simply to space our in runtime space requirement is what just we have need to store only this w vector simply we are just need to store this w vector nothing else have to store it so in this in this case our space complexity is what order of d nothing else our time complexity is what our time complexity is also order what d because why simple here we are just just multiply d minor d d quantities and also addition d quantities so at this case also our time is also d because of this simply we are just multiplying d quantity as well as addition d quantity so simply our time complexity is also d okay i think till now this concept is clear for all of you now now the main question is if if our d is very small or d is small so suppose let's take let let d is equals to 30 okay if our d is small then what then logistic regression is our very very good because for our time complexity simply order of d okay for a low latency requirement system that is for internet company so this logistic regression is very very good okay so if our t is small then logistic regression is very good very very good model for low latency applications okay. So for low latency application, it is for small d as it is a very good model. So if we need, if in applications, if we need, if we just giving a query point and need an output as a one millisecond, then this thing, this our logistic relation is very good. Okay. Simple what? If d is our, if d is our thirty then what are doing here simply we are doing here if our d is 30 then doing here 30 multiplications and 29 additions simply we are doing 30 application and 29 addition okay nothing is if d is equals to 
30. Something this these changes are done. So it is a very very low latency system as well as it is a memory efficient also. It's better side is also that it is a memory memory efficient because we are simple learn that it is space complexity also what are already if our D is small then simply it is a memory of efficient also. Okay, because simply just just we need to store what dot is that we okay. Now the question is if our D is large, then what? Now the question is if d is large then what about our logistic equations suppose let's let d is equals to approximately not approximately equals to thousand okay then what simple if d is equals to large then what so w transpose w q this thing is done in runtime. We are doing this thing in runtime. Okay. And in runtime, we find our W star based on. Okay. If this thing is runtime, to what number of operations here we are needed? Here we are needed approximately 10,000 multiplications and addition multiplications and addition here we are needed this now in logistic regressions we are already learned about the l1 regularization i think you are all uh, remember if if you forgot then go just go to this lecture then revisit this lecture so what is about l1 regularization it is nothing just lower regularizations if you remember we are creating the sparsity vector the sparsity of what vectors means what we are creating the sparsity of our weight vector we are creating sparsity of w star okay means what sparsity of w star this is mean what this is means wj's corresponding to the less important features are zero so w is just remind it w star means what w star w1 w2 w3 dot, 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 dot. if our d they are have d features then we are wt for sparsity means what just, just less important features w less important features w in l1 regulations they are zero they are taking the value zero so just write on it w is yes, corresponding to less important features equals to zero simply sparsity means this okay now to now the main main situations arise here now we have to choose the how much we have sparse the vector if the sparsity of the w star is so much then we are facing the bias problem okay this is not a good solution of our model but to handle bias as well as latency and also variance to take the right sparsity sparsity value now the concept is how to handle the sparsity now just you think or just remember one thing we are now going to the 
regularizer system. So what is our regularizer here? Regularizer here we are learned. Here the regularizer is lambda. Okay. Now we have to choose such a way this lambda value to handle the sparsity value. So we have to choose a reasonable lambda. We have to choose the reasonable lambda such that our sparsity and latency as well as variance and bias also just maintain everything as our requirement. Okay, so we have to choose the lambda in reasonable. Okay, now the relations is lambda and sparsity is what we know if lambda increases. If lambda increases means what? Lambda increases means of sparsity is also increases. Lambda increases means what? Our parsity increases. If our parsity increases, this means what? If our parsity increases, then more WJ is equals to zero. Then more WJ is equals to zero. Okay. The, the problem is here. If we increase our lambda sparse increase sparsity increase so if this sparsity increase then here but our bias increased bias is also increased but we are just uh, we are also think about our variance if bias increases then it is not a good model if our bias is so high then what it is a just uh, under under um, under um, we are learning bias various strains of for a overfitting and underfitting so it is a overfit under sorry underfit model if our bias is increased then it is an underfit model this is a not good okay so we are talking we are handling about our variance as well as we are handling our latency okay we are just we have to mind out these three things bias variance as, as well as latency so increasing the lambda value it is not a also good part so it is depends on our requirement if our requirement suppose in a internet company if we see there have the requirement we in a in a model there have a requirement one millisecond okay so there have requirement in one millisecond then just to mind it we have to choose lambda saji way our multiplication that is runtime multiplications and uh, runtime thing means what are and, and multiplications are additions we have to choose lambda saji way that these operation additions and multiplication doing in one milliseconds okay so just depending on our system how quick system how much uh, system you are used here okay so suppose let's take in today's world we have a high high calculative system high complex machines in every company available so in such in such scenario we have to choose such lambda suppose for one millisecond we have to choose 50 multiplications and additions okay so to uh, to operate these 50 at, at multiplications and additions simple i think here leak our lit, uh, latency requirement fulfilled we have fulfilled our latency requirement so to choose this that lambda that our sparsity is not so much high as well as our sparsity is not so low that's depend on also latency requirement okay so what are we doing if our this lambda increases this mean what this mean our model is underfit model this mean what this model is underfit because our bias increases 
just so if we finalize this lecture what do we have what do we are learning so at this final final of this model we are just we have to handle these three things bias versus latency to handle these two things we have to remember our variance as well okay and we are see that our regularizer our hyperparameter is totally dependent on our bias if we increase our hyperparameter then our bias is also increased okay and bias increased means what our latency decreased okay so why our latency decrease because here our sparsity increased okay. sparsity because our sparsity increased if our sparsity increased then latency decreased this is the relations of the bias latency and our hyperparameter we have to choose our hyperparameter in such a way our latency requirement fulfilled and well as our bias and variance trade up are also fulfilled so we have to think these things in mind okay i think from these things about our runtime and time space complexity are clear and simple we have to at the end of at that after training this model when we are to run this model we have to mind these two things we have to choose our hyper parameter in such a way that our latency requirement fulfill and as well our bias and variance trade out also will well, well maintained okay okay thank you